Oh, and good morning. Now is week three. Week three. And yeah, it's intense, but enjoying every moment. Almost like I've died and gone to heaven. If heaven was hard work. So this week is going to be all about design drawing. And I'm going to do a test. What we are going to do is I'm going to see if I can learn to do design drawing in 20 hours. Now you might be asking, are you insane? And the answer is yes. Yes, I am. But, I think we might be able to do this, because I have done it before. In my last video, you'll see that I learned an instrument in 20 hours. Well, yeah, pretty good success. I was happy with that video. But before embarking on any new skill, it is wise, nay, essential, to get the advice of someone who is a pro in the area. So, I have arranged an interview with one of my lecturers, the one who does all the drawing. His drawing is incredible. So I'll get some tips with him before we begin on this. Tap tap. Okay, this is Oliver, one of our lecturers. Hello. Uh, Orange table. So basically, that would be the end goal that I would like to learn. Okay. If you're not too sure how to how to draw this thing, maybe you you just kind of set up like this this box here. So and then so here I'm kind of determining a little bit where the center line is, and then go down here. And okay. And then use it and draw within. Yeah, and then maybe I, I use that as my, as my confined uh, space there. Sometimes it's quite good to to have these. So here's I have a um, like a, a cross section. It goes down. It goes like that. Then I I know where that this thing thing here dips in. And sometimes the hatching just kind of helps to to explain. Um, the, the actual surface and then I know this is the overhang so I know that there's a shadow there and that comes and then it starts to come down to understand your, your, your surface and what's going on there and also to know where the light comes from so um, in this case it just uh, comes kind of from actually from there and once you set a light direction it's quite good to kind of um, stay with that and you can see it's quite messy, it's not kind of super clean, but I think for these development drawings they don't have to be yeah. super accurate as long as, as it communicates art. I, I understand the shape in general. Oh, thanks Oliver. It was really, really good. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so I've got my pad of paper there, and I'm going to begin what's called the 20 hour learning method. If you're not familiar with that, check out the vi other video I made about that in the description below. But basically what it is, it's saying that you can learn, you can become good at any skill, any skill, if you put 20 hours of devoted practice into it. Three, two, one, begin. I've just done my first hour of drawing. And I think what I want to do is do sort of a test to show how I'm progressing. So, I'm going to see if I can draw something like this, so a little earbud. I'm going to give myself two minutes to do it. Here we go. Okay, so this is my two minute sketch after one hour of practice. No, it's, it's, it's pretty messy. I don't even think this perspective is right. Okay, this is after two hours. There's number one. The perspective is better. And we, we can drive us around for like three hours. Okay, we're just at the three hour mark and something very strange but very cool happened. Ta -ta. I don't know. It's a huge step up. We are now at the five hour mark of the 20 hours, so let's do another test to see where we're at. Okay, number three, here we go. So 
this is after five hours a two minute drawing. Definitely, definitely, definitely an improvement. After two hours, one hour, five hours. Yeah. I know I said I only wanted to work on the line work, but <gasps> markers, man, they're so much fun. I mean, look, they make everything better. They just make it look better. I did go into uni today, but oh man, I've come down with a horrible, horrible migraine. Gotta push forward, even though pain is real. I gotta keep moving. See the difference? Yeah. Like, there's more conformity almost. So what do, what do you so Remember you own the pen. I own the pen. <laughs> you control it. I own the pen. <laughs> you, you have control over the pen. So I just had to say that to myself while I draw. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I own this pen. I own this pen. Yeah. See like you look like you're not confident with that curve. It's No, probably because I'm not. <laughs> Okay, I've encountered a little bit of a problem, and this was sort of self-inflicted. But, I think I've been slightly, just slightly distracted by the markers. I mean, they are a lot of fun, and they make your drawings look amazing. But, I've kind of... Duh, I need to get back to the actual sketching and get a really good sketch down. That's where I'm struggling. Goodbye, my dear friend. Your shining colours have betrayed me and seduced me. But not yet. I'm not ready for you. I must level up my sketching. Yeah. You won't try and fight. You won't try and fight. You feel better now. You won't try and fight. You feel better now. You won't try and fight. You feel better now. You won't try and fight. You feel better now. You won't. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm being too careful. I think I'm just gonna go. Just do it. I'm gonna try to fill up a whole page with just really quick sketches, something like that. If I can do that on there, I'll be happy. Hey, headphones. Hey, they look all right. I'm okay. I'm happy with that. So, that was learning to draw in 20 hours. Now, it was definitely interesting to learn. But, when you get it down, from when I started to where I am now, I am so much better. I'm not, I'm good, I'm not great. I think great comes with years. But, as I said before, it still gets you over that tricky part. That frustrating part when you're really, really crap, it gets you past that. And yeah, anyway, I hope you liked it. Please give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you next time.